Hey, hello and welcome back. I am getting ready to do a Where's the Beef reading. <clears throat> beef is my acronym for Business, Education, Employment, and Finance. Um, <clears throat> we are in a crazy, crazy chaotic time right now. And a lot of people are wanting to know, is it time to invest? Um, should I change employment? Should I uh, add some education to my resume? Um, what should I do here? And I'm um, going to let the cards do the speaking here. Need a few more. We are near the end of August. Um I do believe in October and November things are going to get kind of rough here in the United States. Uh, planetarily, things are lining up uh, to show us that there is some chaos that is going to happen. So let's see what's going to what we should do financially in the meantime. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm channeling um, Matthew McConaughey. <clears throat> I've got the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you might want to turn and walk away from um, any offers right now. It's not a real good time to invest money. Real estate prices are going to drop. Um, not right away, but over the next year and a half. And when real estate prices drop, then your house is not going to be worth perhaps what you paid for it. Um, you may not be able to get a loan, um, home equity loan, because there is no equity there. Um, so do not right now buy real estate unless you need to move. I mean, you sometimes you have no choice. Um, we have the two of pinnacles. Hang on a minute. Let me pause that. Miss Maggie needs to get up here on her seat. <clears throat> Got her comfortable in behind me. All right, we have that two of pentacles. Um, that's, uh, you know what, it came up in reverse. So we're not going to get things balanced out real fast. It, it's going to be shaky as far as work, as far as work opportunities. Um, financially, we're going to feel like we're on a roller coaster. Do I save right now or do I, I pay off some bills? How, what do I do? A lot of question going on. Uh, Seven of Swords is telling me, uh, telling me to tell you. <laughs> Don't get up in your head about it. Don't do any extravagant spending, but, you know, live within your means right now, by all, by all means. Um... Many of you might actually be sweating the fact that it's going to be more difficult to pay the rent. I, I think it's time that you look into, if you're um, low income, I think it's time you look into subsidized housing if you have to. Um, check out what programs are available. If you're having a tough time paying your rent, you might need to kind of lay out a little bit of a budget. Here we have the three of wands. Uh, three of wands. The three of wands, how they represent the two on one side and one on the other. Are, are really representing Hang on. I got somebody at my door. Hang on. Let me pause again. And we're back again. <clears throat> we were discussing that three of wands. It is an ideal time to lay out a budget. You need to see exactly where you want to be, how to get there. Um, a lot of you have never, ever laid out your monthly expenditures and your monthly income to see how things balance. I worked in finance a lot of years. I taught financial literacy for um, a social service. Trust me, a lot of you do not 
take care of yourselves financially. You take care of yourself physically, but not financially. We've got the star card. That's telling me that there is healing that needs to happen financially. A lot of us have ways of handling money that were passed down to us by our parents. Um, with Sometimes with a lack mentality. Uh, cutting corners, scrimping, saving. Um, I'm not talking about that because if you think in a lack mentality, you're going to attract more lack. If you think in terms of abundance that I have it in the universe always provides it for me and God it always sees that I get something in the 11th hour if something comes through, it always will. If you just know that. So don't don't get caught up in that uh, lack mentality. We've got six cups. Now this is um, representing. It could be a good time actually um, for a family business. You know why? Because family hangs together. We've got each other's backs. We, uh, uh, oh, beautiful little bluebird out my window. I am so distracted today. Wow, look at something shiny. Um, I'll have to uh, look up, astro astrologically look up what's going on. Um, we have the three of cups. Look, it's been tough. It has been just edgy. It is okay to cut loose and have a little bit of fun. Celebrate, relax, release some of that negativity, let it go, and rejoice a little bit. Have some fun. Have a, you know, picnic season's almost going to be nearing an end already here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the fact that this even came out in a financial reading, man, um, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, this is a perfect time to reformat your own financial thinking. You know what? And that card is telling me that, you know, I just got done talking about um, working with God and grace and good things. You, you, you'll never lose. Even when it comes to psychics, God first. Psychic second. Okay, remember that. I remember that. Every morning when I go to report in here at my little job, I report to my CEO, who is um, God. Jesus hangs around too once in a while. <clears throat> we'll talk about that another time. All right. Can I get one more jumper, please? Crazy, crazy, crazy how these things work out. We have the moon card. <clears throat> it can be an emotional time for a lot of people when you're working with money, trying to figure out where you want to go with your future. Um, it, it's easier to just kind of um, drop into a depression and not think about it. Like Scarlett O'Hara, I'll think about it tomorrow. Um, so don't let that happen. Don't hide from it. Um, don't let it anger you. Just kind of go with the ebbs and flows. Always know that the universe provides. God's source has your back. We had the three of wands earlier. Now we have the two of wands. Absolutely a good time to lay out a budget for yourself, for the household. And we do have the lover's card. Now, in this particular reading, this is about um, partnering up. Some of you are, and we just finished that Two of Wands also. That, you know what, the two of those together are saying this is going to be an ideal opportunity for some of you to um, meet up with new partners for business. Um, perhaps even... Perhaps even investors. Um, you may be even partnering up with an investor. We also have the Eight of Wands. And that is, here we go. It, it, it's a repeating cycle. 
Everything does. Everything goes in a repeating cycle. Everything has seasons. So does finance. You know, we have a couple of years where it gets real hard, and then it, we coast for a while. And then we get a couple more years where it gets hard, and then we coast for a while. And there absolutely are repeating cycles. So the housing market will drop at, in the next year and a half, give or take. And it'll be an ideal time for a lot of people to invest in finance, or excuse me, invest in real estate. Um, and some of you have been kicking around the idea of taking a vacation and have put that on hold. And this card is telling me do it. Do it. Whoever you are that was thinking about the vacation, should we, shouldn't we? You know, um, we, maybe we should save that money. You know what? Trust in God and say, look, uh, hold me up on this. I'm going to go have some fun, blow off some steam and have a good vacation. All right. There you have it. There's the words of beef. I hope that resonated with some of you. And I hope that helps you kind of get through this next couple of months anyway. Uh, that reading should last. Let me get a card here for a time frame. In through the next five months. This is August, September, October, November, December, and January. Take us through the first of the year. Sound advice. All right, you guys, there you have it. Never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light, and I'll see you soon.